last year has been really hard, I would say, for everybody across the country, across the world. Uh, and then specifically, you talk about our program and our kids and what they've gone through uh, from distance learning last spring to having the season cut short, having a chance to win another championship, to all summer, having their AAU season, their summer workouts, all canceled. Uh, and then even into, you know, the first four or five months of this academic year, not knowing if there'd be a season. Um, to now in a spot where they have a chance to play four, five, six, seven, who knows of many games, right? And, and that's been the hardest part for them, the unknowns. I'm playing in, a, in like a playoff game. It makes you feel like a star. It's like the NBA series. I've never seen no high school team ever go into a seven game series. I've never seen no college team go into a seven game series. So it's like, I'm one of the first to do it. So obviously you're not trying to be the first to lose it either. I mean, you don't appreciate something until it's gone to its fullest potential. Um, and just to be back playing is su super awesome and we're super fortunate for it. For almost one year, we've had no basketball. This Sunday would be one year. So play as hard as you can. Because in this day and age, this might be it. There might not be no tomorrow if something happens, if they shut it down, whatever happens. So play as hard as you can. Stay together, right? Stay together. This week progressed in practice. I think guys know their role. Do what you do under control. Take a deep breath for you new guys before you sub in. You should be a little nervous. That's natural. And then just enjoy this. Have fun, right? Playing your rivals. Right? In a best of seven series, kind of like the NBA, enjoy it. Because look how much was taken away from us the last year. Right? Enjoy it. Seven back on three. Family on six. One, two, three. Seven Seven back. Four, five, six. Family. Let's go. Let's go. When they meet for the first time in a given series, we say this is the first of potential four meetings. Ah, yes. Tonight, we say this is the first of at least four meetings. It was a 17 0 start for Stepanak, which is. Borderline nightmarish if you're on a prep. Approaching the midway point of the second quarter. The lead, which was 17, is now down to five. It's that basket stops the run. Eight point game at the halftime break. Stepanak 28, Iona prep 20. One thing Stepanak has not done is really established to Mezzi to this point who's the focal point of the Iona prep defense. Patrick Masseroni thought Chemezi in a normal senior season would have been in the conversation for league player of the year, which for somebody who played freshman as a freshman and limited varsity minutes as a sophomore is quite the basketball high school journey. Chemezi looking for his first bucket. He gets it in transition. Alexander, the entry feed, here's Chemezi, take it on two and one. Doubling him in the inside, and it still doesn't matter. He draws the contact and gets the basket and foul. He has committed to Boston University. This basket is just there by Kim, as we got a six point game, which is under two minutes to go. Excuse me on the scoreboard. 49-43. Timeout, Stepanak using one of its final three. Pay attention offensively here, okay? We're gonna run motion. You gotta be strong with the ball. You gotta be strong with the ball. They are quadruple teaming Malcolm, right? So it might not be the initial skip that we shoot. It might be the initial skip and a hockey pass and one more. And then we all have to rebound. Guys, the pressure's coming at some point. You can't be reserved with it. You gotta hit middle, you gotta go dunk it on somebody. You gotta attack the rim, be ready to shoot it. You can't be reserved when they trap you, right? You gotta step through, you gotta fight. It's our jump ball, so don't just throw the ball away, right? Be aggressive, all right? Come on, let's go. Win on three, one, two, three. Gibbs, pull up, got it. Big bucket for Samuel Gibbs. Gibbs, pull up, one more. Now that's the dagger. I will not dispute that, but the game one victory to Stepanak. A 56-47 victory over Iona Prep. We're taking this really seriously. Like, even 
after after games like practice the next day early in the morning like we're, we're right back at it all our practices it's like game situations so we don't even have to tell them to turn it up or get up Fiona like every day we treat it like it's a game so them getting into it is like do what you do in practice like it's no extra it's no new stuff so it's been hard but in another, in other terms it's been easier for us too because it's like they're taking it serious they know any game might be their last. Although we want to play like more games and have like more time, like we, we also like want to win. And again, fans, welcome to game two of the Brothers Stolt best of seven series matchup between Stepanak and your Iona Prep Gales. For Stepanak, there's a three, knocking down the triple. It's gonna be Josh Zangerly, as everyone is really getting into the mix. For Coach Massaroni and Stepanak, another hot start for the Crusaders. 15 to six lead with the defense leading to more offensive opportunities. And this is where they've been able to cash in and Flan doing just that. Boogie Flan with his first three pointer of the game. Five quick points off the bench here in the second quarter. And it'll be a 34 to 19 lead at the half for Archbishop Stepanak. Once again, a strong start powering them through to take a double digit advantage into halftime. Chemezi once again inside and once again fouls. As the fouls start to pile up for Iona Prep here in the third quarter, and Chemezi carving out his space inside. Now he's trying to find Chemezi down low. Trying to turn in the post underneath. Good footwork there by Chemezi, who has taken over this game here in the third quarter. And once again, Iona Prep not able to cash in from the foul line. Foul line has not been kind here this evening to Iona Brep. Could have made it an eight point game if he hit both. Inside, Chemezi weathers the contact and finishes it home with what could be a decisive blow here late in the game. Shot clock is off. Gonzalez for three, gets it. 59 54. Iona Brep not going quietly into the night. Land clutch there when it matters the most. 11 points, two for two at that foul line opportunity. And Archbishop Stepanak have taken a two to nothing lead here in the Metro Team Sports Brothers Told Best of Seven series. It's obviously a very intense rivalry. You know, last year going one and one with them. It's just history. Like it's been, I think it's dated back to like the 60s. So something like that is just not going to go away. So. I would say the proximity of our schools being seven or eight miles apart, right, from White Plains to New Rochelle. I would say uh, it's more than just basketball. It's a school rivalry. It's a um, pride rivalry. It's a community rivalry. Um, and, and all good fun and good spirit. Uh, two Catholic schools that compete in the best and highest caliber of sports and academics and arts. Uh, year in and year out. Oh, obviously it's a high magnitude type of thing. Usually we would have a packed stadium at Iona College or the county center. Well, there are two great teams. We don't like each other much uh, on the court, but off the court we're super happy to be playing each other and it's been it's been a lot of fun these past two games. When I told them no matter what the records are, two great schools, probably one of the best rivalries up in Westchester. You know I mean? You gotta be in it or you gotta watch, but it's been great and I love it. I love it for the kids. You do not want to be the class that loses to Iona Prep because you're not going to hear the end of it ever. Coming into Stepanak, like I wasn't a loser. Coming out of Stepanak, like I'm not trying to be a loser. So we're definitely not trying to lose to Iona Prep. Obviously, you won the first two games, but the game three, I know some teams can um, tend to take it for granted. And like, you know, just they uh, start to, they start to lack, but we can't do that. We have to stay, keep our foot on the necks. From the campus of Archbishop Stepanak High School in White Plains, New York, this is Game 3 of the Metro Team Sports Brother Stolt Best of Seven Series between the Crusaders of Stepanak and the Iona Prep Gales. Stepanak is employing the press again. We've seen that a little bit in the first half, and Iona easily breaks it, and they turn it over. Some Here comes Flan back the other way, all the way into Chemizzi, and the easy layup. And now a three ball in the corner from Alexander. That's good. And they get it again. A back-to-back -back threes for Stepanak. This time it is Boogie Flan. But Flan just 
acted like there was no one there, and he got it to go. You feel like you're watching something special, just the birth of something special here with Boogie Flynn. 22-point lead now for the Crusaders. They're on quite a run here. Seven Act 41, Iona Prep 20 at the break. Here's Chemizzi up ahead. Easy. <laughs> Not easy, I should say. That was a hard <laughs> slam down from Malcolm Chemizzi. Stepanak still running their offense here as Hogarth will pop a three. Nothing but net there for Jacob Hogarth, who won the slam dunk contest before the game. Randolph gets the rebound. Last second shot here. It is Decker. It's good. That'll do it. Cole Decker gets the last shot on that layup. And that's it. Final score, Stepanak 73, Iona Prep 52. The Crusaders take a 3-0 series lead in this Metro Team Sports Brother Stolt Best of Seven Series. Last year alone, we had 85 plus college programs saw us, whether here, Florida, Massachusetts, Delaware, a national schedule. And that's not the case this year. So we're trying to do our best as a staff, myself, Coach Swain, uh, Coach Al and the school, to get the word out about these kids and how good they really are and help the younger underclassmen for their development going forward as well. Because that's part of the reason you come here to be a student athlete is to go on to be successful receiving a scholarship at the next level academically or athletically, Division One, Two, II, or Three. It was last September when we had Coach K, Coach Williams, Coach Calipari in the gym, and now everything's obviously done virtually. Um, Coach Pat and Coach Swain have made an emphasis on trying to get out as much film as possible, um, and they're doing a great job of trying to advocate for us in ways that wouldn't they wouldn't normally have to because everything would be in person. But I mean, it's changed, but we've made what we can with it. It's Stepanak, so it's a big deal. I came here my sophomore year. I transferred in, I played JV. Really just helped my game a lot. And then the exposure that you get from being here, like even having the no recruitment basically through the whole summer and most and pretty much the whole entire fall, I'm still able to get recruited, which is honestly a blessing because a lot of people don't have that. This is the Metro Team Sports Brother Stolt Best of Seven Series featuring the Stepanak Crusaders and the Iona Prep Gales. Welcome to game four, where Stepanak has a 3-0 series lead and goes for the sweep on this Friday night in White Plains. Iona Prep in game number four takes its first lead of this Metro Team Sports Brother Stolt series. Headman feed, Justin Allen. The play by Baez at the rim, and the Crusaders get possession. Extra pass out of the corner, it's Baez. And that's been the Stepanak way in this series. Ball movement and distribution. It's Baez with the three to put Stepanak in front by one. Justin Allen pulling up short. Kim the rebound. Keeps it alive and banks it in with just two seconds to go, tying it up at 10. And for a Gale squad that has been outscored by 11 points in the first quarter through the first three games on average, what a start for Iona Pratt. And entering the second quarter, we played 320 into this frame. Alexander off of one leg, wow, tough shot. New. His pass knocked down, it's Gibbs, three on two. Alexander gliding in, and it stays down, but the basket thankfully stays up. Back to Gibbs, great ball movement as he lines up a three. Stepanak trying to find its groove. It's been the ball movement again for the Crusaders. Eight point lead, largest of the night for Stepanak. Alexander tonight off the bench and he cans the three. And we head to halftime. It's a seven point game. Stepanak 27, Iona Prep 20, as the Crusaders in this game four look to sweep. We didn't share the ball early. We didn't rebound early. We didn't defend. We didn't communicate. So if you don't do all those four, you can't sweep them. But to outscore them 17-10, we started sharing the ball, open looks. We started rebounding like men. We started defending. We started communicating. You took it to another level of your game, and that brought energy from everybody. Sam and Malcolm, you two got to pick it up. 
You two are key to picking it up. Got it? Joel, keep doing what you're doing. Isaiah, now it's here. Take it to another notch. Guys, sub in, right? Jonah, Josh, Cisco, whoever it might be, be ready to play. Don't be out there for no free minutes. If you're not doing it, I'm not putting you in. So don't keep looking if you're coming out. Go in there and do something. That's what big players do. If not, you're winning the game. Don't go out there and just think you're getting minutes. We're mad because we expect to be a better level. We said that yesterday. You guys, this is the first time we've been not up 10 at halftime and it's like we're down 20. You're winning the game. But put it on them from the start. Make a statement in game four. Warm up the right way. Be ready from the jump. Energy from the jump. Coach subs you in, be ready to go. Space the floor, share the ball, dunk the ball, defend. Let's go, come on. Win on three, one, two, three. Let's go. Pick it up. Now it's Boogie Flan. The dump ball to Chemezi. 11 point game, largest advantage here for Stepanak. Trying to secure the sweep. The steal, Gibbs has to retreat. And now past the midcourt line. Hogarth, open, splashing down a three. The talented freshman extending the lead to 14. And a 30 second timeout called by Steve Alvarado. And that's a three for Blaze New. Just a 10 point game with 140 left in the third. Hogarth the rebound, seeing some minutes here in the third, and on the second chance, it's Matei. Driving in, it's Green again. Iona Prep will not go away in game four. Gray altered that shot, and then Green Jr. on the other end, rising to the rack for the slam. Green Jr. stepping his way for two. Timeout, Stepanak. New trying to turn the corner in the bump there by Alexander. 10 team foul against Stepanak. Double bonus for the Gales and a chance for the sophomore to tie the game up. One of two. Stepanak's first fourth quarter point after three and a half empty minutes. Isaiah Alexander stays with it. RJ Green, 22 big ones for the Iona Prep Junior. Chemezi positioning, one step, the contact, no call. They've been inconsistent officiating tonight. Big three there for New. And the first lead of the second half for the Gales. Looking to push this series to a fifth game. And it's Chemezi that draws the whistle. A possession after the Stepanak side wanted another. Chemezi making it when it matters most. 50 points apiece. Perfect trip for Chemezi. And just like that, Stepanak reclaims the lead of possession after the new three. 2.05 to go, fourth quarter, one point game. This is Green, RJ Green from deep. And back to back threes for the Gales. 27 now for RJ Green. Unofficial, can't be trusted, Bland, Bland called for the offensive foul, and it was Green defensively that took the bump. And we are closing in on the necessity of game five. Backcourt foul, that's against Green. If so, he's done. And it is. And the official score could not hold up five fingers fast enough. <laughs> The free throw is good for Isaiah Alexander. Did not start because the seniors tonight did, and Alexander has 17. It's into McCauley, who steps on the sideline, thanks to the pressure of Gibbs. Inside to Chemezi. Now it's the freshman, Flan lets it fly. Gibbs the rebound, and he 
one goes to the free throw line. Another offensive rebound by the Crusaders. This reminds me of so many of those contests. But it seemed when as soon as they, they first moved it to the Stefanak home game to the County Center and the owner home game to uh, the Heinz Center, we were treated to some of the most dramatic basketball. And down to the wire tie game under a minute as untied there by Gibbs. Iona Prep still has a timeout remaining. A full shot clock reset. Blaze New gets around the D, up and in. What a finish. 30 seconds to go. Inside, Chemezi! Malcolm Chemezi puts Stepanak back in front. Shot clock is off. One point game. Steve Alvarado, hold on. Let's create some more drama. Timeout, Iona Prep. Focus, sit and focus. Pay attention, the guy on the ball is here. They're running one of two things, actually one of three things. So look again, the guy on the ball is forcing it this way or out, okay? Everybody else is in a stance. Don't let the ball go there, don't let it happen. Stop, 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 let's go. Win on three, win on three, one, two, three. The brother Stoke trophy on the line, gonna come down to this with 15.6 seconds left. Iona with no timeouts left. Stepanak does not have a foul to give. Blaze new to trigger. It's into Kim, went through him. It's picked up by Ez, and now to Gibbs. Yeah, we're done, we're not done yet. Not done yet. Knock him down. He is shooting two. Stepanak in the double bonus. And it was a great play design. It just was led too much to Kim and just threw it by him. Misses the free throw. Iona Prep does not have a timeout. Stepanak has two left. Second shot for Gibbs. Timeout. One timeout, of timeout. two. Timeout Stepanak to set up their defense. Pay attention. There's going to be nobody on the ball. Nobody's on the ball, okay? Isaiah's behind Blaze New, right? Making him catch it this way. It's going to him. He's going to try to banana cut, whatever. Alexander saves it, and it's Baez. Baez lips out. He needed both of them to make it a two-possession game. Even with a make, Iona Prep with a window. One of two. Baridi to trigger. Iona Prep needs a three, it's into Kim. Now it's Allen. Open look, yeah. too strong. The follow yeah. at the buzzer oh, counts, oh, but it's not enough. 59-58 the final. A sweep for Stepanak. And the Crusaders take the Brother Stone Trophy. Great job tonight to handle adversity. Okay, to handle adversity and to battle and to compete and to be in a game, be up 15, be down four. Anytime you beat Iona, it's special. Anytime you beat Iona, it's special. We did it. Not once, not twice, not three times, four times. Four times. Proud of you guys, all right? Proud of you guys, all right? And as I said at halftime, I don't know what the next entails, but I know this. We're gonna continue for you two seniors, try to get you a scholarship to go to the next level. For you underclassmen, continue to film practice. This, the league is fighting. They're fighting, they're fighting, they're fighting. We want a season, we want to compete, all right? Enjoy this. Thank you for this, appreciate it, all right? Proud of you guys. Bring it in, Joel, say it for you. Where's the sag, though? Yeah. 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 family.
Seven, eight, 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 seven,